you start with a presentation side slide. I would name this up here straight away. Um, I'll just call it test so you can find it again. You can use a template if you wish. That's a very quick way. Something where you know the rhythm will fit in. So like that first one might work there. This one might work. You might go, great, I'll use that. I just want that first template. And then you get rid of this bit. And that could be where you put your rhythm. So it might be as easy as that. If you decide you're not doing that, oh, good heavens, here we go. Maybe I should have just done undo. Okay. If you don't want to do that, this is the way I normally do it. If I go into elements and I know that right in the middle I want the rhythm, I use one of these two lines and shapes. The reason I use this square one is see it's got handles on the side. Not all shapes have handles on the side. So I want a big square. This is where I'm going to put my rhythm. It's going to be this size. Position, I want it centre and I want it middle. Of course, it's not going to be purple. All right, I quite like that one, but I also really like this one because it's got the rounded edges. Same sort of thing. So make it the size you think you want. You can always change it later. Position, centre, middle. I'm going to keep it purple for now. Then I want to go into... Um, I could go into photos and see if there's a nice photo background that I want <laughs> recently used. Um, so I could search um, colour. I always search things like colour. Oh, oh my goodness, look at that. All you have to do is drag it on and pop it in the background. There we go. Change this to white. Done. Hey, how gorgeous is that? Okay, then what you have to do is pop in your rhythm, your first rhythm that you want the children to read. Now you'll have to upload that. Okay, I think we'll start with this guy. Over you go. Uh, make it the size you want. Nice and big. I like it in the middle. I like having the rhythms correctly spaced so you've got more space there at the crotchet or the tar. Okay, all right. Uh, now, I think accounting is important. So if we go to elements, um, let's have a look for number, numbers, even though we know they're numerals. I want this one, but that color does not look good. So one thing that Canva does for you that is really cool is if I click on the color up here, it will tell me the photo colors. And I think I'll go with that nice bright orange. That looks quite good. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this slide. And I want the two that matches. Now, it's just something I do so it looks exactly the same is that I put the two over the top so that it's the same size. Mm, yeah, basically, okay. Doesn't have to be exact, but it does look better if it's sort of the same. Not slightly bigger, slightly smaller. Okay, beautiful. Look, that will do. Okay, and a little hint if you want to delete what's behind something, click on it. So now that two is highlighted. Hold down control click. Now what's behind it is highlighted and I can just click delete and what's behind it is gone. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so control click just takes you the layer below where you're working. So that's, that's the idea. You put in your three and your four. I won't do that. So let's duplicate. Get rid of this. because Let's pretend the one, two, three, four is there. Let's go to um, get rid of numbers. Now, these could be here because they're the two I use all the time. I don't know if that's the default shape here. All right. Just excuse me. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. Mm. 
So um, we looked at those before for this background, but I think the square one for this, isn't that clever? It's just gone with the document colours. All right. Do this. I actually like yellow for highlighting and I might use this document yellow. You can always make it a brighter yellow. I don't mind. And here is the magic source, the transparency. Take this down so you can read the note easily, the rhythm easily, but you know which one is expected of you. So um, put that. No, undo. Okay. Control Z is your friend. Move. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you've got this highlighted before you try and move it. Make sure this is where you'd like it. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. So that is highlighting the first beat. So when the students see that, they go, yes, I have to play the first beat. Now, this is what I do so that it's consistent. Um, control C, Control V, and then I move it so that it matches. It's aligned. It just looks like it's slid over. Then I can get rid of this guy. If you get rid of the first one before you um, place the second one, then they're going to jump up and down a little bit and I don't want anything that distracts the kids. Okay, so here's the next beat. Copy, paste, line her up. That looks pretty good. Get rid of that. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm duplicating the page. Ooh, focus, Debbie. Okay, control, paste, move it along. And yes, it should look like that because the the sound happens at the beginning of the beat. So it should be there. Okay. So there is, if I just whiz across my slides, you see that the beat moves across. What I do here is I download them as images. Download PNGs. I want all of them download and then from there you have to pop them into some sort of software that will time them. I'm still playing around with trying to download as a video and edit this timing but I just can't get that quite right so I need to work on that. I'm sure there's a way you can do it directly from Canva and do a video. You can see I was trying just here before um, but when all else fails I just download them as PNGs and put them into my software. So here we are now in Camtasia which is what I use. Um, I am going to import the pictures. So import media and I'll just pop all of these pictures which I've downloaded in. So obviously this is not going to be a whole video now. Here's something that I can do in Camtasia. Um, I'm not sure where it is in the other software, but if we go File, no, sorry, Edit, Preferences, Timing, I changed this to be one second. And this is something you can play around with, or what I've done up until now is I've actually just changed the length of every picture manually. But if it's changing every one second, you'll get 60 beats per minute, obviously. Okay, so that's, I changed my preference there for images to be one second. And then I can just pop them in. I just pop them in one at a time. I don't know if actually if I can just pop them in all at once. I obviously don't do this enough. I don't get much, enough time to make videos. I would so love to spend more time. Um, and then when we play, oh, and my advice is because they're changing so quickly, make sure you're up here towards the positive. If you're trying to work that, yeah. No, just stretch your timeline out. Okay, so now if I press play, one, two, three. And it will change evenly. You can, sorry, stop dudes. You can 
change the length of these slides this way. See, you can um, work out slight nuances in your slides. But that basically is what I do then. I put the images in and it will change. I export the movie. Then you've got your video. That's the basic uh, how-to. Hope it helps.